Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Hawkins and I'm popping in today with a fun fold card to show you. I'm here every Thursday night for a one sheet wonder, but today I have a fun fold card I'd like to share with you. Let's change the camera and get started. Okay, so this month in my Stamp Camp at Home Card Club kit, I'm featuring the Perennial Lavender Designer Series paper. This paper is gorgeous, both sides, pretty. You're gonna have a hard time deciding which side you wanna use. My club members will receive a half of a 12 by 12, so I just cut it in half so they get six by 12 of that gorgeous paper. They get a full pack of these Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. They get four sheets of these die cut butterflies, and I'm gonna show you some cool things with that. They get the card kits, everything they need to make eight cards. I'll quickly show you the cards. They also get one sheet of the small, the tiny mini dimensionals. So these are the cards they're gonna make this month. They do two of each card for a total of eight. So I, I always start out with a quick and easy, simple card, and then we step it up from there. So you have this card right here, simply gorgeous. The bundles that coordinate with this, this perennial lavender designer series paper, you have two bundles. You have the perennial postage, which is on the retired list. So make sure you check that out. And then the painted lavender. Now this is going to be carried over into the new annual catalog, but it will no longer be bundled. So if you purchase it in the month of April, you will save 10% for the bundle. The other card, we're gonna step, whoops, we're gonna step things up just a hair here. And this one is kind of a fun fold where this side catches underneath that print on the front. This one is a unique fun fold because when you lift it up, this side is actually down. So just a little bit different fun fold there. And then this last one, it might look technical, but it is really super easy. And it, it's a tri-fold that folds out and then you can slip those under like that so it would sit up like so and then it just folds shut or if you want you can have it just like that so there's a couple options here like so but isn't that pretty and that will just fit in a regular size envelope so super cute those are the they're going to do two of each so eight cards in this month's stamp camp at home card club kit now, if you would like details on my club under the video, it says show or more, click on that and there will be a direct link to my blog, blog post that talks about my club. So let's get started on today's card. I'm gonna be using the club contents. So I picked this print here, isn't that pretty? And then we have the gorgeous grape card stock this is five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna score that at four and a quarter. One of the perks for being in my club is you get bonus PDF files during my club time. So it's from the first of the month till the 22nd. All my one sheet wonders on Thursday nights, they get the pattern and the measurements. So that's just one of the many perks for being in my club. So this again is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This gorgeous print is four by five and a quarter. And then I have another piece of white for the inside. This is four by five and a quarter. This right here is three by four. And then we have this three fourths of an inch by two and a quarter. And then this little scrap that's left over is gonna go on the inside. It can be a half inch, it can be an inch, three fourths of an inch, whatever you want. So we're gonna start with the card base. And we're going to score this at four and a quarter. All right. Then I'm going to take my print and I'm going to attach it to the center on the front. I got a little dip on that one, so I'm going to bring it around. I must have bent my corner. 
so I'm gonna just adhere this to my card front. like so. Then I'm going to bring in my cut and emboss machine and I'm going to be using the largest circle and then I'm also going to need the, the next size down circle. You could do this with the squares too but I'm doing it with the circles. So let me grab my machine and we'll get this cut out. So we have our plates here. Going to put our cardstock on there. Want to cut side down. I'm just centering it kind of where my cardstock here. So it looks the same width here and it looks the same width on the sides. That looks good right there where it's at. Put my top plate on and run that. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Now we're going to take the next smaller size down circle. Let's see if I got, I'm going to need a bigger piece. So just some white. Put my plate on top and run that through. Okay, so we'll bring this back in and we'll remove our circle. And I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to save this for another card. These are going to be attached like so. Then I'm going to take my card and fold it in half. Just like that. Now I'm going to take this piece right here that was three by four and along the four inch at the top of my trimmer here, score trimmer, we're going to score this at one inch, two inches, and at three inches. And we're going to take that little tab that was three fourths of an inch by two and a quarter, and we're going to score that at one and a quarter inch. So we have that little mechanism there. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it on those score lines like so. And then I'm going to fold it in half. And with the cut side, I'm going to put my adhesive along this top edge. So it's the cut side. I'm going to bring my card in and I'm going to center, the, whoops, before I do that, I want to put my piece of white on the inside. Just like that. Okay, bearing this back in. Okay, I got my adhesive. I want to center this just under that score line so it will be a little bit above that white. And I want to adhere that. Then I'm going to run my adhesive again. And then I'm going to close my card just like that. And then I have this little pop up mechanism on the inside. I'm going to take this little mechanism here and at the longer edge, you can see the long, it's a little bit longer. I'm going to put my adhesive. And I'm going to, with the side that's longer, the shorter, you can see the shorter's on the top, the open edge, I'm going to butt it, center it, kind of butt it right to the top of that circle. Just like that. 
It is going to hang out here. That's okay. That's what we want. Now I'm going to take my circle and the gorgeous grape ink. And I'm going to take the Happy Mother's Day from the perennial postage stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that towards the bottom, like so. Then I'm going to take my Highland Heather and my Gorgeous Grape. So I got a little brush here. Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. Let's see if I can put that on there. Actually, I'm going to use my little silicone mat here, I think so my ink pads won't go flying around. All right, then I'm gonna take one of those butterflies from those sheets. I need it to come up here, so I'm thinking either this one or this one is what I will need. And it can go above, that's not gonna hurt anything. But I know you can't really see it very well right there. I'm going to take this, let me grab a piece of paper, and I'm going to take the Highland Heather, and I'm just going to go into the center of my butterfly. Isn't that cool? You can make a whole background image using that butterfly as like a stencil. That might be enough, and then I'm going to come in with the gorgeous grape. And just kind of do the tips. Kind of two-tone. And you could also come in with a little bit darker if you wanted to almost get three tones. I bet you could almost make like a, if you did like a row of them with the almost like a stencil that would be kind of cool I'll have to give that a whirl so I'm I like that I think that turned out good let me close up my ink pad so I'm gonna put my butterfly up here first I'm gonna attach this to my gorgeous great circle throwing stuff at myself center that And I'm going to attach my little butterfly. Now I'm gonna use the mini glue dots to do that. You can use your little strips from the side because you can make them as thin as you like. So for like his little body here, I can do a little thin strip. I got, well, maybe a, I'm gonna trim just that little corner off right there. And then what you can also do is just cut the dimensional, the little dimensionals in half as well. And then that will just give you almost like a little dot. And so you can put those kind of around the edges, the sides. You don't need a whole lot. And if you don't want to pop them up, you don't have to pop them up either. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to put him like right here. Now we're going to bring the card back in and we're going to put adhesive on this little flap here. Stay right on that flap. And then we're going to fit our circle back in place. Make sure it looks straight. And then when you open it up, you can see how that's going to stand on its own, just like that. I could have went over maybe a little bit. Let's see, that looks good. Just like that. 
And then I'm going to take that little strip that we had left over and I'm going to put that across the inside on the bottom. So let me do that. Like so. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and just really burnish that end down. And the reason why is that circle can kind of hook when it's closing. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to take the sentiment from the perennial postage and I'm going to put sending love and best wishes on the inside. So I'm going to grab my grape again, gorgeous grape. Then I'll open that up and I'm going to just put that right down here. And then I'm going to take my gems and I think I will take, let's see, I'll put one here and you can do the lighter purple, the darker purple, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to also, what's that other color? It's, um, Mm, it doesn't say on here, but it's almost like, oh, what do we got? Is it Blackberry Bliss, I think is what that one is. And I'm going to put one right on my body, like so. There you have it. Isn't that pretty? It's just, my circle keeps shedding. <laughs> from the die but there it lays flat for mailing and then once they get it it will pop up well, let's see oh there we go I thought I lost you there a minute so it'll pop up and it can sit just like that isn't that cute so I'll just show you a couple other ones that I did so this is another print from the pack and this was the Highland Heather, and this is the Gorgeous Grape, and this is the other butterfly. Same sentiment, same on the inside, but just pop that up just like that. You might want to push that down just if it ain't sitting real good, but they're pretty good. And then I also, I couldn't resist, because of the way it popped up, it reminded me of the hot air balloon. So I took the hot air balloon and the paper what's that paper called um <laughs> it is the lighter than air which is on the so this is while supplies last the bundle which is the die and the stamp set will in be in the annual catalog but it will no longer be bundled so you will save 10% if you purchase it in the month of April. But I just thought that was so cute. Use that lighter than air paper. I die cut the hot air balloons from the paper. This was a die cut and then it pops up like this. So just, I thought that was really cute. I don't know, this fold just reminded me of those hot air balloons. So that is it for today i hope that you enjoyed this fun fold i thought it was super cute i think i seen it on don griffith's uh, blog a few years back so i thought it would work perfect for this month's stamp camp at home card club bonus card so if you would like to know more about my stamp camp at home card club please visit the link below the video. It'll say, this is the link to my club. If you need any of these supplies, I have the list under the video. It says, show more. Click on any of those list of supplies under the video. It will bring you to my online store. I do appreciate any and all orders you send my way. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell in the upper right-hand corner so you always know when I go live. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.